I am joined by the first time ever on Radio Kerry uh, by a Swiss yodeling club. We have around 20 people, I think, getting ready to perform and sing and give us an insight into yodeling. And we'll find out now why they are in Kerry this weekend. The man who is best placed to explain it all, why they're coming to Ballyhike and why they are also coming to Clarny, where they'll be performing in the cathedral on Sunday at noon, is John Lean, who's originally from Ballyhigh. Is that right, John? That's right, yes, originally Ballyhigh, but I'm, I've been living now in Switzerland for over 25 years. And the, you, the, the name of the group is Circe Yodel Club, is that right? That's correct, yes, that's correct. Uh, Circe is about uh, three miles from where I live. And uh, the first time I had them yodeling in church was after I moved to Switzerland 25 years ago and I absolutely loved it and said, I'm sure they'd love this in Kerry. So finally, uh, they came to Belly Hike in 2008 and they got a huge reception. Uh, people loved their singing and kept asking us, you know, when are their yodelers coming again? When are their yodelers coming again? So now they're back and uh, they'll be singing the hymns in Belly Hike Church at 8 o'clock next Saturday evening. That's tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. And immediately afterwards then we have a concert with some local traditional Irish music and Swiss together in Belly High Community Centre and then they'll sing the hymns as well in Killarney Cathedral on Sunday at 12 o'clock Mass so we hope to have good attendances that uh, people will come along and hear them and uh, it's I suppose it's the equivalent of a Swiss Kjoltus Kjoltori shall, shall we say that um, it would be nice to, that I could bring a bit of Switzerland back and have a little exchange of culture between the two countries Can I ask you John we all know what yodeling sounds like, or we think we know what yodeling sounds like. What is yodeling? It's, I think it originally uh, evolved in the in the Alps because they they could use the echoes and the different sounds to to create. Uh, it's a little bit different, maybe, to the yodeling we'd normally hear from America. But that originally came too from a Swiss that uh, that went to live in America, and. Um, uh, so, but they sing as well as that they incorporate into that a four part harmony and in our Irish traditional music we don't have so much of the four part harmonies so um, that's what makes it I think a little bit special for the Irish to hear it And what does it mean for you to have the group that you're involved with Circe Yodel Club coming back to your place, to your home Bally High, to perform this weekend and then on to Killarney on Sunday well, I take it as a compliment to me that, that they trusted me with all this, uh, spend all their money on, on a holiday in Kerry. And um, I, I didn't promise them fine weather or anything. But um, I, th- I think it's, I take it as a compliment that they trusted me to, to come all this way with me and uh, organise everything spontaneously, which wouldn't be quite a, a Swiss thing to do. You know, they prefer to have everything well organised weeks in advance. You know, so that's, that's about it. Well, I think what we'll do now is... We'll, 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 we've been talking about yodeling. Let's hear some of it in practice. The first song they'll sing is um, it's a song about basically it's about um, a local uh, what do they call it festival in a mountain where they're uh, concentrating on the Swiss mountain yodeling. So, here's the lead. <laughs>
everybody liked it that is majestic absolutely maje- majestic I, I'm just obviously I'm here I'm enveloped by the sound but absolutely majestic and it really challenges my notion of, of yo- yodeling that it's almost like it's not a serious musical tradition in itself what we might do John is we just need to take a break and when we come back we'll talk a little bit more about about the club about Switzerland about the about being over here this weekend uh, performing in Ballyhig and Killarney and we will also hear uh, another performance from the group. That and more plus your comments on the way. And I'm joined in studio by by John Lean who's originally from Ballyhig who's with the Swiss Yodeling Club called Circe Yodel Club and there's around 20 of you am I counting it right? Uh, around 20 of, of the group performing this morning and what was the name of the last song you, you, they sung there John? Uh, well, I still let the lead but you know frozen it's Alp. Oh, yeah. uh, the Alp basically it's uh, what I call a natural yodeling without text that was the last one they performed and uh, the next song is to, it's about in springtime when they, when all the snow finally melts and they bring the cattle way up into the Alps where they can graze for the whole summer. And that's done as a special kind of uh, feast where the, the cows are decorated with flowers, with their cowbells. Uh, and it's a special um, tradition every year that they have a big feast when the cows finally get out of the stalls and uh, can go up and graze high up in the Alps for the whole summer before being brought down again for the winter. So that's the the story of that is the is the second uh, song that they'll sing. And the Circe Yodel Club, how long has it been? How long have you been? The, how long have they been in, 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 yeah, the, on the road? The club uh, was started in Sursa in 1924, and then it uh, evolved over the years because the singers from all along the side of that side of the lake, and uh, then they. There were times when it was a little bit better, maybe less well attended. and uh, But now they have uh, one of the better clubs in Sursa because uh, Sursa is one of the better clubs uh, as there's a union of clubs in the whole of central Switzerland. And so they're regularly assessed for the, for the quality of what they do and the number one is the highest note you can get and they've managed to keep that for several years. And I understand and thank you very much. You were practising before coming on Radio Kerry. Yes, uh, they insisted, you know, first they're Swiss, so it has to be perfect. So they weren't going to come on radio without first having practice. So we booked a room in the nearby um, Ash Hotel. The hotel was very kind to accept us at short notice. So they practiced for half an hour before coming on radio because they insisted it would have to be perfect. So all or nothing. Well, it absolutely was the performance before the break. And now I'm delighted to say we're bringing the second performance from Circe Yodel Club. Okay. The split lips of Kaiser Hose, Oh, 
Hans und Audesen. Land schaue jetzt der Usern den. Und in der gelben Wackers Blut zum Staus kommt schon Kuh um Kuh. Zuerst schlägt der Bauer noch Gusti ab, der geht's voran mit Fee und Hab. Der geht's voran mit Fee und Hab. Ja. Dank. It was <laughs> wonderful. Absolutely. Um, thank you so much. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your, your stay in Kerry. You're performing Very in nice. Bally High Church tomorrow night at 8 o'clock, at 8 o'clock Mass there. And after that, I going on... Immediately to after that, because we've got to get our bus driver has to get us back in Killarney in time, so it has to be immediately after Mass. So, yes. so then after then, you're going on to the community centre? Community centre in Bally, Bally High. Hike. Just immediately after Mass, straight down there. And then at 12 o'clock on, on Sunday in the cathedral, at the, the hymns at the Mass at the 12 o'clock Newman Mass in Killarney Cathedral. And uh, yeah, we have a range of professions here. There are, we have some teachers here, we have farmers in the group, we have carpenters in the group, we have all sorts of various professions. They're only uh, hobby singers in that sense. Well, absolutely a beautiful, beautiful and a glorious way to start the weekend. Thank you all such, so, so much again, the Circe Yodel Club, all the way from Switzerland. And to John Lean, who made contact with us. John, thank you so much again. It was our privilege to have you all in this morning.